What's good, YouTube? That's Mac, representing Bubblebee Fitness. How are you doing, guys? Hope you're doing well. It's Monday. I hope you're doing well on your diet, because I know a lot of you are going to be going on diets over this New Year season. And I hope you lot are in the gym, grinding, and smashing shit up. And just remember, it takes dedication and determination to stay there. How bad do you want it? You ask yourself that, guys. But anyway, it's Monday, 5th of January. Today is chest day. Um, I'm going to be, like I said to you before, I'm going to be doing a power lifting slash bodybuilding split. So I'm going to be doing five sets of five, pyramiding up to the heaviest weight, where I struggled to do the last five reps. What I'm doing right now is what I do literally every single time I warm up is on the bike. Okay? So we got resistance 10. We're gonna do it for 10 minutes and I'm literally gonna be just going at this pace. No faster, nothing. That's just something I do to get my mind right and get my blood flowing, get my heart rate, heart rate up, and just get things moving, yeah? Once I do that, I have a little stretch, and then I'll crack on. So guys, stick with me, watch the video, hope you enjoy it, and yeah, well, let's go. What I want to explain to you is, is before you watch this yet, yeah, I'm not very strong, I'm not very strong pusher, yeah? On all my other compound movements, well, not all of them, on, on like my deadlift and my squats, I'm, I'm quite strong, I think. But when it comes to pushing, where I do my bench, or my standing shoulder press, about shoulder press, I am very strong. <laughs> I am working on it. I have a bit of pain in this, in this shoulder here, sometimes when I, when I push. Clearly when I first started the gym, I sort of fucked it up by not warming it properly or something and it's always sort of stuck with me ever since. So just remember guys to warm up, yeah? Let's go, we're going to have a warm up first. Okay guys, <coughs> what's good? Okay, always got to warm up guys, like I explained to you, warm the joints up. And then basically we're going to move on now to uh, 60 kilos. I'm not too sure what that is in pounds. I am going to put it on the screen for you guys. Guys, what I, what I want to talk to you about is, is just remember, at the end of the day, you've got to be you when you walk into the gym. You can't be no one else. Do you understand? You've got to make sure you push yourself to your limits. But if that's all you can get to, don't worry, you'll overcome it if you keep working at it. I actually got stronger on the bench. I nearly got 200 kilos. I think I got to 37 and a half each side for one rep. But due to my operation and just not being in the gym and I sort of lost a little bit of motivation due to family problems, you know, I'm out of it. But this is me now building my strength back up again. And this is the way I want to do it and the way I'm going to do it. I will get stronger. I will achieve my goal because I'll stick to my goal and I will, I will smash it in 2015. Do you understand? So when you go into the gym, yeah, and you do see other people lifting heavier than you, don't compare yourself to them. Yeah, you want to better them, so push yourself more. But guys... Just watch the video. I hope you enjoy it. This is like my um I think this is my uh, second set. No, this is my third set yeah. now. So my kids got me this for uh, Christmas. They're trying to say they're trying to tell daddy to get in the gym and fuck shit up. Cheers kids. So then as you see guys, <clears throat> that's that's my little present there. All the numbers are going to be on the screen for every one of the lifts, guys. 
um, and I will put them in kilos and pounds to help out all the nations across the nations. See, I'm I'm, I'm doing all right here, guys. I'm not doing too bad, you know. I managed to force three out. This is the fourth rep. And then this is the one where, look, as you can see, my feet are all starting to get all jittery. I haven't got my balance and I ain't got my stabilization properly. And that's crucial in lifting, believe me, is getting your structure and your posture right to lift. And this is it, guys. I'm going to leave you with this now then. I hope you enjoyed the video. Speak to you soon. That was my five sets of five reps <coughs> building up to the heaviest. That last set, as you can see, I failed. I only got three reps. That's because my mind was telling me, because I didn't have someone behind spotting me, I didn't think I was going to get it up. Now, if I would have had someone there, I would have pushed myself more. But at the end of the day, you've got to watch out for your safety because that's, that does, I know that's not a lot of weight, but it's still dangerous, guys. I'm in this gym on my own. At the end of the day, if I wouldn't have been able to lift that up, I'd have had to just roll it off me or something. You know, anything could have happened. So I think what I'm going to do is, next time is, is if, I'm, if I'm in here on my own, I'm going to do it on the, um, the squat rack and put the bars up. Just to be a little bit more safety, guys, yeah? Sometimes, you know, ego, it doesn't always benefit you in the gym. It, it can do, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not saying nothing. I'll say that for another video, but what I'm saying is, guys, remember, safety first, yeah? Now, I need to explain something to you guys as well. The reason why I'm not very strong on the bench also is because I let my emotions get in the way. I go into the gym, I see these people lifting, that are smaller than me, lifting fucking heavier than me. And it, and it knocked my confidence, it just went bang. I thought, what a pussy am I? But, little did I know, I needed to start, everyone needs to start somewhere. Some people are just naturally strong on their pushing movements, you know. They've got a strong front doubt, you know, they're just naturally gifted. They got good triceps, you know, to drive it on through. And some people are built for this, and some people, unfortunately, like myself, just end. But I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep pushing until we can hit two plates each side. Now, I don't know if any of you watch Nick Wright's channel, and uh, Nick Wright, NWB, I can't quite remember off the top of my head. I'll put a link in the description below. He also couldn't lift for shit on the, on, 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 on the bench. And he would tell you that in his videos. And for me also, guys, man, but he, if you watch one of his videos, he would only, he would only go to the, his garage or his basement gym to, tra to, tra to train chest because his confidence, he didn't have no confidence in the gym because he couldn't lift it. And he was embarrassed, you know? And this is what I'm saying, guys. Sometimes you go into the gym and, and you're not the strongest guy in there, but just remember, you're in there and you'll try it. At least you're in there trying. Because you've got people at home going, oh, yeah, oh, I wish I wish I was to go to the gym. Wish I should start the gym. Or they start the gym and then they fall out of it. So just remember you're going and you're doing it and you're trying. That's the main thing in life, guys. You're going, you're doing it, and you're trying. And that's it. I'll get stronger on that, guys. Believe me, because I push myself. But get me on squatting or deadlifting, you know. And I'll, and I'll fucking deadlift heavier than some of the fucking big boys in the gym that can push more weight than me on the bench. So, guys, it's, it's swings and roundabouts, man. Just don't give up yet. Yeah? Hope you like this video, guys. Big thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to share this video. Comment below and let me know what your thoughts and your opinions are. And if, if you've got the same problem as me, just let me know. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.